And I guess that's the sad part of the story. You know, I, I'm glad that truth's surfacing because I think most people now reflecting back are going to understand that you're more heroic in this. Um, and really, I, I think um, when you have such senior, powerful people in Washington, D.C., trying to discredit you and your person, your service, it's just wrong. And I, I'm proud of the fact that we are pursuing this. You know, if we did what the White House wanted us to do, if we did what the ranking member suggested we do, this thing would be over. Nothing here. Don't do it. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. When you have the spokesperson for the President of the United States make a definitive statement that it was two rogue agents and start poking at these people who have no power to do anything about it, that is wrong. How dare anybody suggest that we're at the end of this? This is the beginning of this. We have to make an example of it. We need to get to the bottom of it. And quite frankly, I'm tired of this administration having to keep having these hearings. We've done it on Fast and Furious. We're doing it on Benghazi. We're doing it on the IRS. We're doing it. Why? Each time, there's a pattern. Nothing here. Oh, it was just a couple people. Don't, just move on. That's not true. When the ranking member went on national television and said that this case should be closed, that's wrong. And I have the greatest respect for him. The gentleman yields. Yes. Let me, let me be clear, because there's, there's some old talking points going on here. No, let, no, let, let, I, let, at least claiming my time. I I'm just want to, I want to answer your allegation. And I want to claim my time. Gentlemen, it's the gentleman's to time. To suggest that they're just talking points? 30 seconds once he finished. These are not just talking points. Oh, come on, I said. Yield the gentleman time. Thank you. Let me be very clear. I hope the gentleman will join me when I say that I want every single syllable of every single transcript that we can get, every redacted redactions, uh, appropriate redactions put out here. I've been asking for that, and I want that. What I said was when it came to the issue of, of saying that the President and the White House was responsible for this, I said that the evidence to that point and continues to be not there. As far as the investigation I, is concerned, I want us to get to the bottom of that. And I really mean that. It is very, very, very important. So I, I just wanted to make that clear. Can, can I ask you now's consent for 30 seconds? Of course. Part of the reason it has risen to this level is that you have the White House spokesman, Jay Carney, blaming one of the people sitting there at this table. You have the former acting commissioner saying it was two rogue agents. It was the most powerful people in Washington, D.C., placing blame on the person sitting before us. And that's why it continues forward. And that's why I do think the White House is now engaged in this.